Most of us refer to him as Musiso Lomo, a legend in the acting industry. Siabonga Zungu, Mr. Soft, the DOP of Ngoob's Dog, joined me in studio to share about the documentary of Men's Ngubani. I had an opportunity, of course, to get a little, you know, trailer view, a little snippet of the Ngoob's documentary that you've recently just shot. Just tell our viewers at home um, what the Ngoob's documentary is all about. Uh, well, the, the, the documentary is about the life and times of Men's Ngubani. Um, well, initially, that um, was going to be the, the, the initial documentary that we planned with the, men's, the late men's was going to be about the disciplines of acting. Um, but obviously, when he passed on, we had to find a way to change the story. Yeah. Mm. And uh, that's when we then decided we we're going to talk about um, where he was born, where he grew up, how he got into the acting, and you know some of the shows that he did, talk to his colleagues, talk to the people that he worked with. And I also had a chance to speak to some of the producers um, that made Menzi. And um, uh, we then um, see his life, uh, marriages, and um, we also then talk about his, uh, uh, his sad, untimely passing. Mm. So that's what the documentary is it's all about, about. The, the skeleton. Mm. I liked how you packaged it for us because it kind of gives the viewers at home an idea, Uguti, what Alagupi and where he is um, till this day, yeah. And mm. I mean, it's, it's really tragic. You know, because he's such a legend. Mm. What were some of the challenges when you had to shoot this documentary? Look, uh, uh, the very first challenge that anyone can face in wanting to do just about anything, not just film, uh, is to find funding. We, we had to dig deep into our pockets to make sure that this happened. Um, and because we couldn't wait, um, at the time there was, yeah, COVID, mm. well, not my second, but yeah. mm. at the time people were passing, mm. you know, spontaneously. Mm. And um, we just had to be cautious because the authenticity of the story had to rely on the fact that we um, we want U Auntie, who is the sister to U Baba mm. uh, to tell us about U the brother, mm. uh, that uh, there's, there are only two siblings, U uh, and his big brother, U And um, so, uh, one couldn't wait. I know um, institutions like uh, NFVF uh, have said to us we should have waited, uh, but the risk that is associated with the story, I, I couldn't take that mm, risk. Um, mm. Otherwise, I was going to lose the story. And people get sick, people die. Mm. I can gladly say with, you know, the boldness in me mm. that the mm. only institution at this point in time that has afforded us... Um, financial support for post-production, mm. at least a portion of it, was the Gauteng Film Commission. Wow. Like, Speaking of how you mentioned that there are, like, you know, a lot of legends out there. As we know, Babu Menzi Mgubani is also one of those legends. There's mm. quite a lot. Mm. Why particularly Babu Menzi Mgubani? You know, there's still a lot more that you could have chosen to make <laughs> no, a documentary out of. Why uh, Babu Goobs? Uh, I would say the first reason is because he was my friend. The second reason is because we had planned it together. Unfortunately, uh, when we had to work on it, he was no more. But uh, his brave uh, widow, uh, we, she came on board and said, let's do it, you know. Um, mm. So um, that really boosted me. And uh, I, the plans are there to do quite more of mm. these people. Mm. And um, we've approached some. Um, I can happily tell you that uh, uh, the likes of Babum uh, Bungeningem, the likes of Babum um, Fundivundla, uh, I mean, he's, um, he's one of the people that started uh, what we call local soapies. Mm. Um, we, we, we truly think that those legends, and by the way, Babum Fundivundla, without him, this film wouldn't have been, True. Would, wouldn't have existed. Um, assisted us with the um, archive material, the interviews, uh, sending us to the right direction, mm -hmm. advisory. I mean, um, uh, most people think um, that uh, getting help is all financial. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's just a bit of a problem because it's not just the money. Um, when you get the money and you don't know what to do with it, um, it's a big problem. Uh, and that's why, you, you know, you see what you see on social media, people mm. buying things they don't need. Um, we, we fortunately 
had the wisdom of Babum Fundi. We had uh, the support and the uh, brave support uh, from uh, the Bomb Productions, Desiree um, Makraf and Angus Gibson, uh, and and the colleagues that worked and lived with him. Uh, you know, they they agreed to the interviews. Um, uh, I just couldn't believe how these fam famous people just bowed and said, okay, let's do the interview. They just jumped um, in. Yeah, some yeah. of them I was thinking, yeah. hey, they're going to ask for money, you know. Some of them just say, no, please, <laughs> yeah, that's no, not my you're league. You're wasting my time, you know. You know? Um, of course, there are those that yes. said they want money. Yes, uh, for it. yes. Uh, it was a bit disappointing because when you, when you are a true legend of what you do, money shouldn't be driving you to tell us a story of how you interacted mm. with someone, you know. Mm. So, yes, the film is out there. It's... Um, it's exhibiting at cinemas, yep. um, and then later on in 2022, it's going to exhibit at um, uh, uh, um, the SABC. I'll definitely be making my way to New Metro yeah. and checking out Ubabungub's documentary. Yeah, and keep checking the website because even other exhibitors will be, um, we are just signing up contract with them. So we are going to be going to various areas. Mm. Swaziland, we're coming end of the month. Um, we're going to film festivals. We're going to Italy. We're going to um, <laughs> five five uh, film festivals in KZN, the Italy one, and then the US one. Mm. So, uh, I mean, if, if if for a first time producer like me to have a film requested in those areas, oh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's a step in the and right direction. And what's the website that we need to keep following? Uh, I think the Men's Ngubani Foundation on Facebook will be the appropriate one uh, because uh, our one for soft video uh, will, will have some information, but um, you know it's doing way more more corporate than anything. So yeah. I think the Men's Ngubani Foundation page will be more relevant. Yeah. Fantastic! Thank you so much, Mr. Soft. Mm -hmm. I do look forward to having you back in studio for 2023, 2024, and 2025. And please keep us posted. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for your time. <laughs>